know if you can see this or not, but Quartzsite is right ahead of us. It's kind of on an uphill, so we can see it from where we're at here. So we're going to be getting off at the exit in just a second. And we'll drive down Main Street real quick before we head south on Highway 95. We're getting excited! I don't know whether we should be or not. <laughs> It's going to be wonderful. During our first year of RVing, um, we stayed in a lot of RV parks and we had talked to a lot of people about Quartzsite and that we were excited to go to Quartzsite for the winter. And not a lot of people had good to say about it. So it kind of made us nervous when we were going there for our first year. And then um, recently, another uh, RVing couple did a YouTube review about Quartzsite, and they weren't very positive about it. So that kind of bummed us out. Um, but as it turns out, they only stayed here for about a week. And when you're only staying here for about a week, it's hard to find all the good stuff that there is to do in Quartzsite. So we thought it would be a really good idea to do a video um, as full-time RVers that spend the entire winter in Quartzsite. So you're hearing our story of what there is to do here and we absolutely love Quartzsite. So we want to share some of this town with you. Oh, well, here's our rig. And uh, what do we love about Quartzsite? Well, look at the space, man. I mean, we've got two mats uh, out here our backyard and we've got all this space behind us too. Uh, there have been trailers parked over in there but I mean compared to a uh, camp place like an RV park you got all the room in the world here and uh, let's take a look at something else. There may be downside to some people but let's talk about the terrain. This is your grass, basically, it is rocks, pebbles, stones, whatever you care to call them, in any shape that you can imagine, and the sizes vary greatly. People use them to uh, make objects, and as, as I am working on a compass, and that's an older one over there that I did, there's piles where people make uh, campfires, pits and uh, then there's the wash over here. Top on the list of the wonderful things about Quartzsite is the acres and acres, tens of thousands of acres of places to camp. Um, there are a lot of 14 day free areas and there are um, some long term visitor areas uh, that cost a little bit of money. We do stay in the long term area and um, it's $180 for the season and that covers from September 15th to April 15th and you do have a dump stations, water and garbage collection provided for that fee. Here are some pictures of uh, La Posa South where we stay so you can kind of get a feel for what it looks like. Um, the 14 day areas have a similar terrain um, you just kind of pull off the road and park wherever you want to, um, but there are no amenities in the 14-day areas, so you have to um, take care of your own garbage, um, dumping and water. A lot of people use the RV pit stop for that. Um, they do have pretty reasonable fees, and the transfer station is a couple miles north of town, and that is free garbage collection, but you just have to drive it up there. But if you'd rather stay in an RV park, there are tons of RV parks in the Quartzsite area. Um, many with very reasonable fees. Some of them advertise fees as low as $200 a month, and then you have to pay for your electric on that, on top of that. So that's another option if you'd rather have an RV park. Some folks probably think that Quartzsite isn't the prettiest area to spend the winter in, um, but of course it is winter and it's hard to find pretty 
in a lot of areas around the country. Um, but we look at these washes and these plants and we see the potential of what it's going to be like in just a few months. Um, the flowers start to bloom as early as February and then it gets really beautiful. Um, but of course there are no lakes or anything like that around Quartzsite if that's what you're looking for. There aren't any, any rivers either. There's also a lot of wildlife to see around Quartzsite. We get hummingbirds um, to our campsite, so we decided to uh, feed them for the winter. Um, there are also uh, roadrunners, and those are very interesting to watch. If you don't know too much about roadrunners, they actually are powerful enough that they can kill rattlesnakes. They are carnivorous birds. They are meat, eater, meat eaters. So that's pretty interesting. Um, we also see ground squirrels, cottontail rabbits, jackrabbits, um, lots of lizards. There's just a lot of wildlife to see. Here are some pictures of downtown Quartzsite. It is a very small town. Um, the permanent population is only around 3,000 people. Um, so the town area is kind of sparse. It's not really a walk and shop kind of town. Um, the buildings are kind of spaced far apart, but the shopping opportunities are there. There are swap meets all over Quartzsite, and these are areas where people set up their campers or their tents to sell their wares during the season. Um, Tyson Wells is the most popular, and uh, Tyson Wells does have a permanent section, mostly on the left-hand side of the road as you're coming in from uh, Highway 95. And then the right-hand section of the road, uh, the northern section, it changes every week and they have kind of a different theme that goes along with that. This area is huge. It's definitely the most popular area that people shop at and you can get all kinds of things, anything that you can imagine they sell there, including food and it's some pretty darn good food. And there are some other swap meet areas throughout the court site town. Um, there's a little map published in the newspaper that shows the locations of those. They're just kind of scattered all over, but still some pretty awesome stuff that you can find there. And there are some per permanent buildings that are uh, kind of set up like maybe trading posts. They have a bunch of different things inside their stores. Um, so here's a couple pictures of those. As far as dining, um, Silly Owls, I think, is probably the most popular place that everybody goes to. Um, Silly Owls Pizza has it, the best pizza I've ever tasted. I absolutely love it. Um, they do have a full bar, and they have pool tables, and they have live entertainment one or two days a week. Um, some of the other options are the Quartzsite Yacht Club. Yes, I know it seems kind of funny to have a yacht club in Quartzsite when there's no water, but um, there is a yacht club in Quartzsite. And a lot of the locals actually recommend the Mountain Quail Restaurant, which is down Moon Mountain Avenue. You have a few different options for groceries. Roadrunner Market is probably the biggest market in town. Um, there is also Coyote Fresh Foods, which is another supermarket. It's a little smaller. Um, and there are also a Dollar General and a Family Dollar that have a good selection of food as well. 
As far as things to do in Quartzsite, um, a couple of the more popular options are the Pow Wow Gem and Mineral Show and the RV Show that both happen in January. Here's a couple pictures from the Gem, gem Show, and they have all kinds of things there. They have the machinery to um, carve and make your jewelry, carve the raw stones. They have raw stones. Um, they have finished stones. They have cabochons, beads, things like that. And they also have finished items like jewelry and little rock sculptures and things like that. So there's a lot there. And uh, the RV show is the other big popular thing that happens in January that a lot of people come to. And uh, you know they sell RVs there on the lot you can shop for an RV and uh, the big tent has information on work camping um, RV parks 55 plus age RV parks that you can stay at for the winter um, they have a lot of goods for sale um, things like mattresses and refrigerators and batteries things that you need for your RV they sell um, cookware um, you can buy sandals purses hats pretty much anything that you can imagine you can buy in that big tent For other things to do in the Quartzsite area, your best resource is the Quartzsite Messenger newspaper. This has a ton of information about things that are going on through town. Um, the QIA building, Quartzsite Improvement Association, they have a bunch of events. They publish a calendar of events. Um, they have like line dancing classes, square dancing classes. Um, they have a singles group meeting. They have dances. They have uh, little concerts and performances. Um, a lot of stuff to do at the QIA. Um, another place that has a lot of different events is the Senior Center. Believe it or not, the Senior Center has a lot of different events. If you're into history, Quartzsite has quite a bit of it, actually. Um, you can visit the marker for the original Tyson well, uh, which is the well that Mr. Tyson built back in the 1800s uh, to service people who were coming in on the stage. And Quartzsite also has a free museum uh, that's right next to Silly Al, so you can get a little bit of history there. Quartzsite also has a pretty awesome town park that covers several acres. Um, they have a really huge dog park area that we visit on a regular basis. General just loves the dog park. Well, look at you. Look how happy. They also have an RC track. If you have RC vehicles, um, you can ride around in there with your R RC vehicles. They have playground equipment for the kids. Um, there's a big baseball field, uh, which they actually use for part of the dog park there. So if you wanted a little more privacy, this isn't as much used as the regular dog park area, but it is completely fenced in and safe for your dog and has the pool and water hoses and everything that you need there. They have horseshoe pits at the park. Um, they have a basketball court and a tennis court. They have a skateboard park, which is pretty cool. Um, they have a couple of old warplanes here on the corner. And there is a, a pretty substantial bike path over near the park area. Uh, probably goes maybe a mile out in towards the desert and then you can come back through. And they also have an RC flying field, uh, which is pretty amazing. It's very well put together and they have a show there I think it's um, 
sometime in March they have an air show that you can go see there. And they also have a disc golf course, if that's something that you're interested in. And other things around town, um, Celia's Rainbow Garden. Um, Celia was uh, an eight-year-old girl when she died. And uh, she is the daughter of the Winers. Uh, the Winers are pretty famous in Quartzsite uh, for the Reader's Oasis bookshop that they owned. But Celia's Memorial Garden was put together by the town uh, as a memorial for Celia because she was such a big part of the town. She had such a positive attitude even though she was very sick. Um, so there are various memorials here that people have built for uh, loved ones and pets. And they have this really cool little miniature town uh, that you can visit. Another thing that you can visit is the last camp of High Jolly. This is actually in the Quartzsite Cemetery. Um, so part of it is a historical cemetery and part of it is a new cemetery. People are still buried here. Um, High Jolly uh, was a gentleman that uh, lived here in Quartzsite for quite some time and he worked with uh, camels. Another favorite activity in Quartzsite is to drive around looking at the rock art. Um, a lot of people that stay here for the winter, this is a favorite pastime of theirs, is to create this rock art. And uh, uh, a couple of the more substantial ones, um, some folks built a United States map out of the stones and it's absolutely huge and gets a lot of visitors and uh, actually Ed built this this compass rose in our spot in Quartzsite and a lot of people will come by to see it too. There are also a lot of stone buildings and old mines and um, old Indian petroglyphs and grinding holes and a ton of different things to see out in the desert. Um, this is Joseph Kone's house uh, that was built in the early 1900s. And um, there is a book that you can get at um, Quiet Times entitled Stone Cabins. It's just a little booklet. Um, and that gives you directions to some of the more popular um, points of interest that you can go to see and most of those are uh, you know accessible with a two-wheel drive vehicle um, of course our our truck is two-wheel drive um, so we can't go to a lot of the places but we can go to some of them and then maybe do a short hike um, but the, these are some of the things that we've been able to see in addition to the stone cabins booklet um, the Quartzsite Off-Road Club does have uh, a few pages of points of interest with GPS coordinates on their website, and that's quartzsiteoffroad.com, and you just click on the link at the top that says points of interest. And here are some um, ancient Indian petroglyphs and some old grinding holes. This was really interesting to us. And here's an old mine and a stamp mill. And you can also see the Fisherman in Taglio, um, which is on Plamosa Road on the way to Baos. And Quinn Pass has a, has a historical marker. And for a very short hike, although it is uphill, um, you get a beautiful view from the top of the hill here too.
And if you happen to be in Quartzsite around Christmas time, you can go visit the Schroders and take in their outside Christmas decorations. It, they did a tremendous job. There's a ton of lights here. Another one of the awesome things we love about Quartzsite is we have access to tons of RV, RV parts and materials that we can use to uh, make repairs or upgrades. They have just about everything you can imagine available here. And if you're one of those folks that likes to get a job while you're uh, staying put in one place for the winter, Quartzsite is a good place to do that too. Um, there are a lot of businesses here that hire just for the season. Um, RV Pit Stop, of course, is one of them, and this is where Ed chose to work this year. Um, but there are restaurants that hire people, um, even some of the vendors that come in and set up in like Tyson Wells and, and stuff. You can um, get jobs with some of them doing odds and ends types things. So uh, there are quite a few jobs available in this area. As far as services go, uh, the Quartzsite Post Office always gets a lot of comments. It's a little unusual in that it only allows you to pick up your general delivery packages between 12 and 1 o'clock, Monday through Friday. Um, although it is open on Saturdays, it's just the window that's open on Saturdays. Um, during the two shows uh, in the middle of January, the line to pick up the general delivery packages is pretty long. Um, so it can be a little bit of a wait. I've never had a terribly huge wait. And an alternative to the post office is to have your packages sent to quiet times. Of course, they do charge per package to um, come and pick them up um, because they are receiving them for you. Um, but that is another option. Um, we didn't like paying the fee to pick up our packages, um, so we preferred to have everything sent to the post office. And one thing I found out just recently is um, if you uh, are ordering something from Amazon and you address it to P.O. Box General Delivery in Quartzsite, Arizona, it will get delivered to the post office via USPS. So um, there's another tip for you if you haven't already figured that out. P.O. Box General Delivery, Quartzsite, Arizona. That does work, and we've used it several times. And the Quartzsite Library is actually a very popular spot around here. Um, it does have an awesome, awesome book collection. Um, I have been taking out some books on native plants in the area to help with my studies. Um, they also have a huge DVD collection if you're interested in uh, renting out some of their DVDs. Um, but the one thing that attracts most people is the internet access. They have uh, free open Wi-Fi here at the library and um, they have some tables and chairs set up inside where you can take your laptop in and do your work inside at their tables um, and they also have um, some seats with computers in them so if you don't already have your own computer you can go in and use their computers and they have probably 15 or 20 of them they have quite a bit actually but they do advertise the Wi-Fi as being open and free and uh, you can actually pick up the signal in the parking lot on the days that the library is closed Another place that you can visit that isn't terribly far away from Quartzsite is the Kofa National Wildlife Refuge. Um, Kofa has several entrances into the refuge. Um, the northernmost entra uh, entrance takes you to Crystal Hill, um, which is a smaller sized mountain where you can dig for um, gemstones, crystal, quartz crystals, and uh, you're actually allowed to take out a certain number of crystals per year. They allow you to take them home with you. And the next entrance south of that goes to Palm Canyon, which I understand to be a strenuous hike, but you do get to walk up into this canyon where uh, native palm trees are growing, and it's really pretty. Another place to visit that's not too far away is the town of Baus. Um, the old assay office 
SA office in Bouse has a small museum in it that's free to get into and they have a bunch of information about the training camps that General Patton ran during World War II and they also have um, on the outside of the SA office uh, they have an old miner's shack all set up so you can see what that looks like it's pretty interesting Court site most certainly is not lacking in beautiful Arizona sunsets. So that's court site in a nutshell. But for Sandy and I, it's a lot more than that. It's coming to a place that we've come to the same spot for as last year setting up next to a guy that 15 years of coming here uh, he's a veteran he knows everything there is to know he's become a good friend and to come back and see him and set right up next to him again it's nature it's it's a hummingbird feeder and watching how the bees and the hummingbirds do this dance of how they share things the hummingbirds do it in the morning in the afternoon the bees have it for most of the time after that, the hummingbirds squeak in. It's watching the Palo Verde trees grow. And it's, it's watching the schoolies, the school bus pull in that was totally raw, and watch them convert that into an amazing living space covered with solar panels. And speaking of solar, we're good to go here too because we've got our little solar thing going on. It's, it's getting a part-time job, just it, which I, I love pumping propane in town and picking up a couple extra bucks while you're boondocking, staying where up for a buck 90 a day, you still have use of a dump station, trash, and water. It's catching up with friends that we made in Moab that after a barbecue decided they'd come up and join us too, and now they're set up next to us and we're having a great time together. It's clanky noise, it's RVs going up and down the roads, it's razors in Plumosa South, it's dusty, it's windy, it's roadrunners going up and down the wash. It's absolutely perfect. Get out, experience boondocking. Quartzite is wonderful, and I'm sorry for other, your, other people that don't love it, but Sandy and I absolutely love Quartzite. BLM, Boondock, it's an amazing experience. Everything from nature to the people that you'll meet. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Please subscribe if you can see your way clear to. If you have any questions or comments, we'd love to hear them. Thanks always so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.